What's up everybody, I'm Bojack, this is Bojack Photography, and I have to say, I am so sorry about last week's video. Um, I ended up traveling last minute, um, helping my sister get from Houston to Detroit last week, and then I spent a little time with the family until my flight. So I didn't really get edit any editing done, I wasn't prepared to post the video. I know, it's pretty bad, however, uh, I think I've come up with a good solution. So for today's episode, what we're going to do is I'm going to take you to, through a couple of the simple editing tricks that I like to do. Not even editing tricks, just simple editing through Lightroom that I do literally all the time. So with that being said, janky intro sequence, go. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm recording screen and we're looking through a couple videos. This is from a friend of mine, Kiara. The shoot went pretty good. Let's look at something a little more recent. Uh, Evelyn Joe. This is a very good picture. Uh, let's do something like this, I guess. This. Yeah, let's do this picture. So with this picture, you have Joe here. Uh, he's a buddy of mine. Um, we actually met during this shoot. Um, him and the shrubbery and stuff like that is kind of dull, but the water is extremely vibrant. And that's kind of what we want most of. Let the water pop out, add a little separation in the background. And, and um, you get this kind of cool effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and get a create a virtual copy. All right. Then I'm gonna go to this virtual copy that I made. Okay. Then I'm gonna go to develop. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset. So that's how the image looked raw out of the camera. Kind of dull. So when you shoot in raw, you kind of get more, you get more information. So it looks flatter because you get to manipulate the, uh, the little pixels from all the light um, a lot smoother, which is why it's so much better to shoot in raw than it is JPEG. All right, so first let's go ahead with the crop. So I like, I just want to take out this stuff right here, you know, make it a little more even. So, I'm gonna, so let's go ahead and go to done. All right, now that I've got that out of the way, uh, let's do this. So what I like to do is I like to mess with my curves first. So, you know, I like to really shake them around to kind of see what I can get. I really like the dark moody look. So with the dark moody look, you kind of want to pop the highlights and really sink the dark, darks and blacks and stuff like that. So I'll do that and then I'll bump these up. So right now it already looks decent, right? But it can get better. So let's see what we got. So first things first, um, I always like to mess with my blacks and shadows. I like lower blacks and I like uh, so it really depends on the image if I'm bringing the highlights down or up. This image, it's okay to bring the highlights up. You know, it kind of adds, it kind of adds that extra dimension. So this is pretty much done. Sometimes you can go in there and mess with this dehaze button. Um, it'll kind of bring it out a little more, but you don't really need to mess with that. These are kind of like when you're doing a little more advanced tuning. Um, actually, I won't mess with that dehaze button a little bit. Let's reset those shadows. Those blacks back up. Actually, I like bring those shadows up to about 20. Yeah, I like that. So here's what I have so far, and then I like this. So this is what I what I was and what it is now. And this is I've been editing for a couple only a couple minutes. So let's go back. Now this is my favorite part. Um, you go so um, so I've taken the greens and I've brought them up a little bit. But now one of my favorite things to do is I mess with the yellows a little bit. Sometimes I'll bring them up where I want them to be. And then once I'm here at the two things I'm focusing on right now, I go to saturation and I'll, and I'll kind of figure out where I want it to be. So don't want the greens really bright. That's oversaturated. It doesn't look good. You know, sometimes you just need a little bump of saturation. You don't really need a lot. But I also like to kill my yellows. So very yellow, almost no yellow. And I think it's a nice crispy look, so. All right, now let's play around with some of the oranges. 
All right, see how his face brightens up a little bit? So now I get to brighten up his face and a couple other of the dimensions, you know, not too many. But I get to brighten up his face without using anything to separate it from the image. So it's a nice brightening. I don't have to mess with the shadows anymore. And um, I don't need to put a brush on it because it looks good like this. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of play with the other stuff like the blues. So if I kill it all the way, it'll make his jacket a little flat. So what I'll do is I'll add some luminance to it. So now his jacket has more dimension. Um, the blue is just coming from the sunlight. So um, when blue, when the sunlight hits um, cooler objects, uh, sometimes the finer details can be rendered as blue. So I don't really mess with purples, although his jacket seems to be purple. Seems to be coming off as purple, as well as this little section right here. It adds a nice little little, little, little thing to it. So I'll leave a little bit of that on there and see what magenta, magenta plays with. Nothing really, so I'll just reset that. So now let's go to saturation. Now to get some of that more, um, how you say, kind of moody look, you kind of want to bring down some of that saturation. So I already like where my green is. So with his face, I really don't want to change the saturation. I might bump it up a little bit just to kind of, but like with the red, I'll bring it kind of even with the orange. You don't want to destroy that. You know, his face looks great right now. So I don't want to mess with that. But what I do want to mess with are these blues. I have saturation. Yeah. So, so now you see how the edge of everything is blue right now. So what I'll do is I'll take that and I'll kill it. So now everything that's supposed to be blue is actually like uh, monochromatic in black and white. Um, I'll kind of play with the purples a little bit too. Notice how, how many more things are kind of changing with the purple. So, but I'll bring the purple down a little bit. But if I bring it down too far, it looks kind of yellow. Have the aqua around the edge of the lake. I think I'll bring that up actually. But I'll kill the luminance. On some of these things, you want to kill the luminance. So it'll kind of bring more of a, um, even more of a moody look. So one thing I'm gonna do is kind of like the faded look. People love the faded look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. These are my curves. So this is kind of like how I like the image crisp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this little, so make sure it's in a point curve custom in your tone curve. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this little thing right here at the very bottom and you're just gonna start moving it up. So the higher I move it up, the more ridiculous it gets, obviously. The lower, the better. So let's see what's a, what's a good. So I don't want it to be super faded. So I'm gonna go with a nice, boom, 5.9%, right? So now that it's faded a little bit, I can add a little more black. So I'll throw a little more black in there. I'll throw a little more highlight in there. To me, that's a little too much. I don't like it. So I'm gonna bring these blacks back up. Or I should say shadows, darks. I might even add another tone curve right here. Kind of accentuating the mids. It doesn't look like I did much, but I did enough. Once you get into serious editing, fine tuning. You're gonna be making adjustments where you see the difference and other people don't and It'll drive you mad at first, but just bear with it. You know, you, you'll get there. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how I'd want this image to look. It's nice, you know, it was crisp before I added the tone curve to it. Now it's a little flatter, but it's flatter and stylized a little bit. I took away the blues, the yellows, so that way kind of the greens accentuate more, um, the grays accentuate more. Um, which in this case was purple. But, you know, it's, it's a nice, even 
I like it. Um, so I've talked for a while now, so maybe let's do one more and I'll be more quiet for that. So that's my editing, um, not perfect, um, didn't expect to be perfect, but I like, I like the way I do things. I'm working on my style now, I'm trying to try something a little more unique, try to find what I can call the BoJack style. So that, I mean, that's something you all should be doing, you should all be going out there and, and really trying to see where your style fits. or how you fit your style into what you like doing. So that's a great thing for everyone to do. Um, but for now, again, I apologize for that episode. It was day one in Cambodia. I didn't get it out in time. I am so sorry about that, but I'll have that edited and it might be up tomorrow. It might be up next week. I am not sure. With with C-Void COVID, I keep saying C-Void. With COVID going on, I should probably be able to catch up on all my work. But let's be honest, I've just kind of been in a stinker. This kind of environment is it's kind of crap for me. So, you know, I need to be I need to be moving. I, I need like me going out and doing it is my inspiration. You know, having photo shoots set, having a schedule, that's my inspiration to keep pushing. And when I can't do that, it kind of puts me in a slump. But um that's just me. So this video might be long, I might cut it up and make it shorter, but uh, go ahead and tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about this video. Go ahead and hit that like button, I'd appreciate that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, share to all your friends so they can see what's going on too and what you're interested in. And uh, don't forget about the notification bell. Uh, and with that, peace. Alright, now i got to edit this so I can have it ready um, today. Because it's 2 a.m. on Monday. That's right. I filmed this probably 12 hours before this posted. And I'm keeping this in. I'm going to put it as a blooper. I'm going to pretend I'm talking to people. Can you believe it? It's 2 a.m. This is crazy. Right? I've been watching too many YouTubers with assistants.